This channel has been taken over. Press subscribe or there will be consequences. <laughs>
Ahana intake is really awesome when you have VTEC. It really amplifies the noise of your of the VTEC engagement and it really makes it, it, it really sounds like you're awakening the beast. Now take that with a grain of salt, you know, the beast of a, of a VTEC engine. But yeah, so obviously it depends on where you live and stuff. So for me, I live in a place where there's lots of rain, a lot more, a lot more weather terrain, you know, snow. Hydro walking is a higher risk, although I wouldn't be extremely worried. So personally, if I'm gonna get an intake, I kinda wanna get a really good short ram intake because I live in Canada. Heat soak isn't much of a problem as, as hydro locking is for me. So maybe perhaps I get a short ram intake. I know that it doesn't have as good as performance, maybe uh, potential. But for me, in my circumstance, I think the short ram would be just as good. Or for example, if you were in a place like California, which I know lots of people have civic eyes there, um, heat soak is more of an issue and you know, hydro locking isn't as much of an uh, issue. So obviously go get the cold air intake. But with that being said, make sure you have the proper tune if you're gonna get that three inch intake. You don't wanna throw off the ratios of your car and damage or potentially hurt your reliability. Number four, and this one is very important to me because I, I really like the aesthetic look of a lowered Civic Si with some nice wheels, but it is suspension. So whether you're gonna get a good set of lowering springs or coilovers or whatever you're gonna do, um, suspension not only looks great aesthetically on your car, but it also will improve handling, so many things, so, different, so many different aspects. Um, I, I think aesthetically, Personally, I really like improving the aesthetic look of my cars, but aesthetically, that's what it's gonna do most for you. Well, actually, that's a lie, it's a complete lie. But for me, that's the main benefit I would take away. The Honda's already, you know, they handle really well for what they are. Um, you're, gonna, you're not gonna see a drastic, drastic difference between uh, stock suspension and, well, you would if you had a really, really good set of coilovers, but you're not gonna see a drastic difference between just say, you know, your stock suspension and some lowering springs. But if you take that in a complete package of, you know, lowering springs, and a really good wheel setup, you will see a drastic difference. But lowering springs, suspension, you know, all the, everything. There's more than just, obviously, that. Uh, control arms, you know, there's so many things. Suspension is great for these cars because it can allow you to get the full potential uh, when you're going around those corners and you can feel the handling. You know, having good or great handling is very, very addicting and it is an awesome feature that your Civic Si will love to have. Number five, and this one's gonna sound like a cliche ricer again, uh, and I'm sorry if it does, but it is a weighted shift knob. Now hear me out, hear me out. A lot of generations of the Civic Si have synchro issues and lockout issues. So, you know, taking, taking in reliability, taking into that into consideration, I don't consider those, you know, reliable, like huge reliability issues. However, they're super annoying to deal with. And one thing, if you do have a weighted shift knob, it is it allows you to go into gear a little bit easier. Um, and that, so the weighted shift knob can, it can help the transition into gear to make it more smoother, which in the, at the end of the day will help you avoid those lockout and synchro issues. Not only that, there's so many companies like Skunk2 who make really nice looking shift knobs that, you know, really improve the, in, the interior of your car because it just looks super nice and appealing. So I personally have a Skunk2 shift knob, weighted shift knob, um, but I will say in the summer, you grab it, it feels like you're, talk, you're touching lava. In the winter, I grab it and, I, and it feels like I have frost burn on my hands. And for number six, I have an exhaust system. Personally, I am not a huge fan of fart can Civic SIs. I don't know really who is. And if you are, good for you. That's fine, I'm not judging you. But I personally am not a big fan of like those overly loud Civic SIs. However, I do believe that there is good exhaust out there for your car. A good exhaust systems like that improve the sound but it's not too loud, overly loud, where you get that raspy, you know, kind of gross uh, VTEC or four cylinder noise, naturally aspirated gross four cylinder noise that, you know, a lot of cars suffer from. But a nice exhaust system paired with that intake, paired with, you know, the, an intake manifold and Hondata or a ProTune, get all those bolt-ons, will improve your power, you know, will improve your, the airflow of your vehicle. And it will, you will feel a difference. And plus, who doesn't want to hear their engine a little bit louder than the stock? Now, number seven, I've kind of mentioned it a couple times in this video, but it is intake manifold. So intake manifolds have been a very popular mod through the generations. I know uh, eighth gen, there's a lot, there's a huge aftermarket for intake manifolds. 
and you know they help with airflow and they can help it will pair with your exhaust your intake and a proper tune you know you can you can really utilize some more performance um and obviously and also aesthetically you know it makes your engine bay look really good i know that sounds stupid but aesthetics does matter but for number seven it is intake manifold now obviously there's many more mods you could do like i know another popular one is star body spacer you know there's Obviously so many different routes, but in my opinion, these are the top seven mods I believe that you should do for your Civic SI. If you have any more suggestions for mods and you want to help someone else, comment down below what you think you should do for your Civic SI. Other than that, I really appreciate you guys for watching. I've been getting really great support uh, recently and I really, really do appreciate it. I really want you guys to know that. I've been having a blast making these videos. Um, I've, been, I've been pretty busy with work, so I recently just got a job. Um, I'm taking a year off. I'm doing what's called the co-op program at my university or I, or I take a year off and I get, it's basically like a paid internship. Um, so I'm doing that this year. So I've been super busy with that and of course with Puppy. And I just want to say that I really appreciate all your guys' support and it really means a lot. Other than that, hopefully I'm going to be making, I'm going to try to do one to two videos a week. We'll see how that goes. So we'll start with this video. And just kind of see what rhythm I can get myself into. It's been pretty hectic recently. So many things happening in life. But anyways, guys, really appreciate your support. Like I've said so many times. Have a great day. See you guys later.